Welcome. Thank you for joining us for a quick demo on Timon, Rigo's timesheet functionality for Monday.com. Timon is intended to provide our customers with enterprise level functionality to use timesheets and manage timesheet related data within the Monday.com application. This functionality also allows you to facilitate how team members can enter their time and time tracking into the system to ensure transparency, accountability, and enable team management like functionality to be able to properly prioritize work and any work that's actually executed to be able to provide cost and time management for those activities. So what you're seeing right now on the screen is a monday.com workspace. Now on this workspace called Timon Demo, we have two boards, one called Cloud Migration and Mobile Application. Our organization basically uses monday.com to manage projects. Now you can see where in each one of these projects we have a series of tasks, and along with those tasks, we have multiple phases or groups within our projects. Similar to how monday.com allows you to manage your activities, we can assign activities to specific persons and we can also control current statuses through this column right here. One of the biggest benefits of Timon is that it relies on existing monday.com functionality. So it loads into your application as a monday.com dashboard. And the second benefit is it automatically plugs and plays into your existing boards and data. So it doesn't create a new structure for you to manage your work or interfere with how you've been working so far. So what I'm going to do here real quick is I'm going to filter my data and I'm actually filtering by my two projects right here. So mobile application and cloud migration. This automatically brings over all the tasks available for which I have permissions. Now as part of this dashboard functionality, Admins can also customize a series of validations and business rules on how Timon works. You can assign visibility for items and sub items, define how many periods somebody can see and the start date for each one of your weekly periods. You can also go ahead and add business rules to specify what time increments they can add. And I'll show you how this works in a bit. And you can also add additional validation rules on who can submit against completed tasks or unassigned tasks, for example. So right now, I'm going to go ahead and close the settings and go back to view mode right here. And basically, you are seeing all the items on these two boards right here that I have access to. Today is Friday. I'm basically closing out my week. So I want to go ahead and add some hours here. So this week, I worked on this task right here. So let's say I spent half my time, and then I spent the rest of my time on this provisioning right here for our cloud application. Along with being able to submit time, you can also filter and look for specific items. You can switch between periods. Whatever periods are displayed here depends on the admin provided configuration. And you can also add notes based on the work you perform. So I come here and add a small note. Now, as soon as you add notes to the system, you can see it now gives me the option to edit or view that note. Now, along with this, and as mentioned earlier, there's admin level settings that you can use to restrict how people submit their time, what items they can submit their time against, and certain business rules like the increments of time and similar that they can use. For example, here this system only allows us to enter time on half hour increments, and you can see the error flashing whenever I try to do something less than that. At the same time, I am not able to save if my timesheet has any validation issues. So I'm just going to switch this back for four and a half hours. At the same time, as you are entering the hours, you can see a total per row, and you can see a total for all of the items being displayed on screen. Now I'm going to go ahead and save. Once this is done saving, you can keep doing changes. You can switch between periods and keep entering time. Along with this, we rely heavily on other monday.com functionality. 
One of the functionalities is being able to use link boards. So as we are submitting time, we actually keep these time entries or these time blocks in a secondary location on a secondary workspace. Along with that, we come back to the corresponding boards and we link the items for the time logs to the corresponding activity and the resources we are working on. This enables you to do additional items like mirror columns, aggregate the hours, and report on the related time logs for this activity. So this facilitates the ability to build additional dashboard, export the data, or reporting. As always, we appreciate your time. Thank you for joining us today.